Hello, everybody. Welcome to Tennessee Titans franchise. Today, we have a fun episode ahead of us. We have the Las Vegas Raiders to go against. We have to look at players ready to negotiate some extensions, some new contracts, see what they're up to. Uh, we have a tandem breakout, by the way. We have a breakout quarterback after Malik Willis had a great week last week. And we can also upgrade a few players because I already went ahead and did the weekly strategy beforehand. Had a little extra time this morning, you know what I'm saying? So I hopped on, did whatever I needed to do. And uh, I'll show you guys the team real quick. Oh, yeah. And also, scouting college players. I went through and just got to the top 50 so far and i like quite a few prospects actually and normally i'm pretty picky but i know you guys don't really see the lineup that often so here it is here's the uh the lineup here as terrence robinson's one of the uh upgrades here you guys can see how just kind of meh it is and chico conquo obviously out we'll get him back next week and then we also have it is who is hurt that's right it's willie gay so he'll be out for two more weeks so willie gay is down kevin byard uh, uh amani hooker and if you guys don't remember we traded for jalen peach tree to be that kevin byard replacement when his contract expires this upcoming season uh we'll see his contract extension pending you know in the uh the contracts ready to negotiate but you guys see the okay off or defensive line it only progressed to be better we have two of the best defensive uh you know interior players players ready to negotiate kevin byard antonio gibson willie gay levante david shaquille griffin monty rice elijah you can go down the board all right and there's no one real important other than kevin byard gibson will walk because jalen reynolds has been expedited potentially better than I thought he would be. Willie Gay uh, might have a chance to come back. We'll see. Normal development really doesn't entice me too much, especially when we got like Joseph Klein and Aziz al Shire, And then Levante David, as long as he's interested in coming here and as long as he's a superstar X Factor and above like an 80 overall, I'll be just fine signing him to one-year deals. Shaq Griffin, um, same thing. He's been fine for us, but that normal development and getting close to that 30 age, like sure we could keep him around, but can't really promise him playing time. Hennessy will walk. Molden, I'm sure will walk. Monty Rice will walk. And you can kind of go down and uh and you know get those one-off situations that you might want to do it and then we can accept Jalen burke's one uh or his fifth year option not one year option man kj hamler took our last game over and couldn't be stopped if you guys don't know he nearly went for 200 yards if not i think he actually did but close that 170 mark if i remember correctly you ready to see me go off like that says Traylon burks um not really but yeah we'll challenge him and what 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 damage can it do? I guess it's time to put on a show. Then you call my number, and I, you won't regret it. And I'm ready to have a huge day. He's gonna want like ten thousand yards. Yeah, one hundred and fifty. Oh boy. So we're gonna put him in the slot, and if it comes to fruition, it comes to fruition. Because honestly, I think this could be huge for him. He's currently, you know on the verge you know becoming a superstar player and that could really make all the difference in the world for a player obviously jalen reynolds he's second in the league in rushing and rightfully so came out as a star development player we got a breakout challenge and we up that and then uh this next year i'll have to hire an offensive coordinator that we can actually use these abilities and whatnot but honestly all things considered Traylon burks is a, a dog and if he could get that superstar development i wouldn't mind it and we'll probably have to throw the ball quite a bit considering malik willis is coming off a stellar game is he in the process of taking the next step my opinion no no he's not but i definitely think so of course you're gonna have to say that throw one or fewer interceptions and have 300 scrimmage yards or three total touchdowns to upgrade his dev trait to star and when it comes to terrence robinson what he really doesn't do well is run block power but they're gonna say that his uh his just pass protector is not good in the first place but we'll just upgrade power for him here terrence robinson up to that uh five or 75 overall threshold so uh he's doing pretty good run block power can still go up it's at 69 other than that been pretty good joseph klein someone that has been x like so good like so 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 good just needs to continue getting better in that zone coverage play rec block shedding area but i think pass coverage is most important right now so joseph klein will go up to i mean that's a good upgrade that's 69 zone coverage nice go up one more tab if i can Jiminy chrysler make Traylon burks the slot receiver last week 20 for 44 324 yards four touchdowns for malik willis the best game of his career by far today will be against jimmy garoppolo i don't i don't like jimmy garoppolo so not a whole lot to say here and here we are taking the field for the first time we will actually run the ball here this one will go for quite a few if i had to guess right because i mean look at all the space we had to the outside jalen reynolds and his you know 95 speed getting out in space doing well and we'll pass the ball here get out of the pocket with malik willis try to get up the field a little bit get nine yards and we can't force the ball to Traylon burks that's my biggest takeaway of uh today we'll go for him here he'll get the yards that he needs 17 right 
right there. Now, this is the plays that uh, Traylon Burks is going to make his living. Never mind. He was off the... Uh, he was he was good cover. He had good coverage on him. Jesus, I can't talk. So far today, been, uh, been pretty good, in my opinion, at getting the ball out and uh, just, just getting through my reads. And who will we go for? Can we get that one in there? No! It's already an interception. We can't make that mistake again. Oh, it's a fumble! Get on it! <laughs> What is happening? KJ Hamler came in so hot. But like I said, we cannot make that sort of mistake again. We'll get Traylon Burks in space. He'll step out of bounds. Yeah, that we could we couldn't do that. We can't do that. Malik Willis throws one more interception. His breakout goes bye-bye. On a run that went for virtually nothing, but injured um Tyree Wilson. So we're gonna throw into a tight window gap. Love that throw from Malik Willis doing his best. Uh, I don't know, a good quarterback impression. It doesn't really, uh, you know, get too uh, technical with the throwing and whatnot. And just to today, he's been good so far. Been pretty accurate as far as uh, he goes. Jalen Burke's taking a little bit of a breather now. We'll go to Josh Wiley, who makes a good catch in traffic. Gets up. He's actually been pretty good in real life since coming back. Um him being uh josh wiley we're still without Traylon burks and we will just run left Jalen reynolds up the field oh never mind Traylon burks is hurt i didn't even see that well uh we'll have to substitute him out i don't think that that's a good idea to just keep him in Jalen reynolds sure like he doesn't need this touchdown malik willis for his like three touchdown challenge or whatever we'll just get close go hurry up here call y stick maybe get diaz pretty quick i don't yeah we can actually put him on a hitch here huh nope that just put him on a block all right well we're screwed let's uh let's just throw the ball so snap the ball and get outside Malik Willis outside rushing touchdown makes something out of nothing had uh, no one rolling that way either so Malik Willis great job getting in the end zone touchdown Titans after a long Titans drive to start this one off we'll see the Las Vegas Raiders make their way out onto the field with their leading quarterback Jimmy Garoppolo 200 or 106 att uh, 177 attempts 106 completions 1400 yards I think that was like 10 touchdowns 11 interceptions but I unfortunately can't talk and get the words across but if you guys didn't know we traded for Josh or er, yeah, Jonathan Allen at the uh, the trade deadline, and that was pretty good. Is that Zamir White actually taking carries here? Colton Miller goes down. And this is what we do best right here is put pressure on the quarterback. And this one's actually going to be a screen out to, uh, I believe that is Zamir White for negative five yards. It is. And this one underneath, great coverage from Shaq. Griffin heard me talking about maybe not extending him. He was kind of frustrated about that. He's going to make his way, um, you know, to the ball there and make a good play on it. Jalen Reynolds will highlight his season so far. 157 rushes, 780 yards, and only three touchdowns. Sure, you could say only three touchdowns, right? But that's, that's a lot of touchdowns. I see Jalen Reynolds, White like right out there all by himself this one's gonna be picked off no Jalen Reynolds actually almost caught that it's ridiculous the CPU can do that as we're gonna try to get Skaronski like make your mind up don't just go at the last second I want to see Skaronski move to the second level immediately don't just like don't tease me that's that's bullying uh yeah we got Clyde Claxton uh Kyle Phillips KJ Hamler on the field all not like the best receivers you'll ever see but uh KJ Hamler after a huge week last week Comes out, makes a good play, and a great throw from Malik Willis will help him, uh, you know, have an opportunity on that ball. We'll try to put KJ Hamler a little lower, and uh, hopefully that, that helps as we will kind of rush out. We're just going to throw this one away. A little RPO here. We will run the ball. Get Kyle Phillips out there. We are running so well right now. We're back up to full momentum. Let's go curl flats here, and I guess we'll just stick with this pass play. And we'll have Jalen Reynolds underneath just creating himself some space. Getting up first down. Carlos Diaz, Diaz today, I think with only one target, he was kind of designed to get this one. He'll get, we'll try to get upfield, but uh, only six on that one. We'll go hurry up here, get into some pace, and uh, we'll try to, you know, unsettle this defense here with our run game as Reynolds almost saw daylight. Antonio Gibson into the backfield now, third and two. We know how much Madden hates to let us have these sort of plays, but we'll try our best. Antonio Gibson does a good job. First down, eight yards on his first carry. Oh my God, if we had Hot Route Master here for KJ Hamler, put him on a corner route and we'd have freaking gold. Let's get this one out to Jalen Reynolds. Gets three yards. I was trying to do a little bit more than that. Put KJ Hamler here on a curl. I don't know. 
It doesn't really do much, but Malik Willis up the middle of the field. Just don't fumble the ball, and I'm fine with anything you get on that sort of play. Might be a crazy play call here, but we will just run the ball with Jalen Reynolds, and they knew it, and the CPU is obviously going to do the best job. Get up to it. We're going to just go hurry up, get up to the line, see what they come out in, and I mean... Obviously, who is that up there? Chandler Jones is a little gassed. And they're going to... Like, that's what I mean. That's what I mean, dude. You can't convert a fourth down against the CPU on a run play that looks open. All right? Why? Because they will literally just make your line... Like, what is Brunskill doing? What is this man hyped up on right now? Just let... Yeah, just let him pass, buddy. Just just let number... What is that? 60? Yeah, just let, just let him in. Just, just happen, you know? Because it's fourth down, and you can't let that happen against the CPU, right? That's why. This game's ridiculous. Second and inches. We'll just try to shoot a gap here. And Zamir White gets through and breaks a tackle and proving to be an issue early here in this one. This one will come to the end of the first quarter as well. And here we go. Second and 10. We're bringing the blitz. Something we've done so well all year long. We get it out to him. Shaq Griffin, his third pass defended today. He's been so, so, so good making plays on back-to-back -back there. I know you guys didn't see the first play that he made on um, Jacoby Myers. But I know that you guys saw the uh, that last one there. That'll be his third on the day. He's been very good in coverage. And, I mean, honestly... Got a tough one coming back across. This one, Levante David just leaves open. That's unfortunate. What's even more unfortunate is the fact that, uh, oh my God, Zamir White making us look stupid, is the fact that, you know, not Derek Carr. This is Jimmy Garoppolo. Has all day in the pocket anytime he wants to drop back and pass when we're not blitzing. We don't get pressure unless we blitz, and that's, um, you know, part of it, I guess, but Jalen Petrie just going to try to go in there early. Great catch and trapper from Hunter Refra. And Rashawn Montag, Joseph Klein, Levante David all making their best effort to get to the quarterback on third and short there. They go play action. That's the wrong call. Struggle to get Jalen Reynolds, uh, you know, worked in here on these last few drives, so we're going to try to go back to him and get him going again as he is uh, there's a reason why he's the second leading rusher in the whole entire league this year. Because he's that good. And we'll have a three tight end set along with Yosh Nijman on the line. I don't like this at all, but hey, Wiley probably going to be the go-to. Never mind. We'll go McLeod. This is the fullback. He'll drop it. Third and five. We'll just look for the open man who proves to be no one in this situation never mind Clyde Claxton up the sideline Malik Willis his running element really takes DBs away from the receiver there and then late on that one just decides to you know what I'm going to throw this one makes a great play can we get this one out in space thank god not an interception I think that was Nate Hobbs in coverage who had spider senses tingling I know it's spidey senses right but I mean I just don't care Jalen Reynolds well, not Phillips Jalen Reynolds up the field still no trailing Burks in the game and we'll actually call an RPO here um just gotta make sure Phillips is out there and we'll go Phil uh, Reynolds what the what the hell was that I threw it I pressed X to throw it to Kyle Phillips which would have been the wrong option uh we'll have to punt this that's very very frustrating and a good punt will drop him here on the 10 and then we'll get Rashawn Montag we'll get more bodies over there than Zamir White can count to stop him before he gets a big game second and 10 now as we'll just go with Zamir White up and it's gonna be picked up but they're gonna call DPI here that's uh that's pretty stupid they are gonna call DPI on Levante David um I don't see that I just don't understand where that would come from there you know it's just uh I, I guess the refs are a little blind today we might have to buy them some glasses you know go all cam jordan out on them this one definitely going to be a pass here and we'll try to stop it the best we can and this one just lobbed deep and thank god byard's over there because shaq griffin was jumping like like he was stuck in quicksand i don't know what was going on there Moving on to the next play, though, we got to just put that one behind us. User Levante David here and probably crash down on what would be a run. Not in this one. We're just a little out of reach. Michael Mayer up the field. That's We were so close to that one. First and 10 now, and this one will get out. That's an illegal screen, but are they going to call it? Hell no. Levante David trying to come in and make a play. Instead, it'll be Jeffrey Simmons. That's what we pay you the big bucks for, son. In my opinion, he's been kind of underperforming so far this year. And Jalen Petrie and his 95 speed. This one tipped in the air. Jalen Petrie and his 95 speed is absolutely ridiculous shooting a gap. I'll say that to say the least. This Vegas team has struggled to move this ball on our 
defense. That's the first time I can say that this whole series, and it feels so good. Still no Traylon Burks, but we will have Jalen Reynolds, and he will try to work out in space, trying to get outside. I mean, we saw someone uh, shoot a gap or, or just get off their blocker pretty quick. So I wanted to just avoid that situation, get whatever yards remained. If uh, we got nothing, so be it. It's better than a TFL. But we'll move back to the passing game here. We'll roll out and have nobody. And we'll just put KJ Hamler on a little like a uh, little dig route here. But we'll just go with Malik Willis. Get up field. Go down. Just just make a good play there. Get that first down. Be done with it. We'll call uh, Verts after that now. Can we snap the ball, please? Yeah, that'd be wonderful. We go Carlos Diaz underneath. We know what sort of big monster and big body he has been. Uh, since uh, filling that starting role that Chickaconquo has been missed from. We'll go back to one of our favorite plays this season, the running back screen. Skaronski outside. Reynolds trying to in a, uh, trying to beat Nate Hobbs in a foot race there. Couldn't quite get there. We'll go right back to him here on a run play. I'm sure they'll shoot some sort of gap here. Um, unfortunate for Traylon Burks, by the way. I was looking forward to at least challenging him to get to that superstar development, but an injury is going to most likely take that away and i'm not willing to risk uh you know long-term injury for maybe one game when he'll have plenty of breakout you know opportunities so we will just uh go here snap that ball get it up to kj hamler the speedster that separates like no one else in the league with just pure speed 94 speed i believe and 96 excel or vice versa i can't remember but kj hamler been living it up these last couple of weeks this is exactly why we acquired him this is exactly why we traded d hop away we have faith in the guys that we have here and malik willis is coming out breaking out showing that he might be the guy i, I don't know i haven't seen him throw like this or, or play like this and his 90 speed helps so much momentum seems to be doing us so many favors today so far and you obviously can't uh, discount that as we will get pressure on the quarterback and he'll throw it accurately i mean that's what we've done all day we don't let jimmy garoppolo have time and obviously when he has time he's made some good plays so trying to take that element away from him here as we'll do the same thing we'll go into zone coverage try to bait like something underneath and they go underneath they have all the space in the world number 21 gets hit stick by uh levante david and don't take that out of context it's kind of weird Jalen Petrie now, though. I mean, might want to shoot a gap here or something. What? It, this is what I'm talking about, dude. Madden just, just wants to screw you over until you can't do anything, dude. I don't know what's going on here with uh, Mr. Petrie. Look, I'm trying to turn around. Instead, I'm going to run after that quarterback. It almost looked like some sort of addiction from Jalen Petrie that he couldn't just, like, leave the quarterback alone. He's like, that. that's that's where I need to be. Like, he was focusedly and fully driven, focused on just getting to the quarterback. I tried to turn him around, and he would not have that. <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll close up our DBs a little bit. It's kind of dangerous to play that sort of game over uh, a guy like Devontae Adams. But this one, Rashawn Montag it, back there. Are you kidding me, Rashawn Montag? been so good and uh this one a crucial down we'll try to get him on and uh am i going to actually do this i am indeed i'm going to try to shoot a gap get a tfl or something and uh make something happen here call a timeout then get the ball back many yards as we can get with malik willis i'll take and i'm not even talking about passing yards we can just put all of our receivers down the field and never mind they have solely focused on keeping Malik Willis under wraps here as uh, they just roll out immediately with him there. Nothing we can really do. If KJ Hamler can burn his man, that safety drops. Same thing with Clyde Claxton. That'd be very, very good. It doesn't happen, and they'll just roll with Malik Willis. It's so stupid, man. So, so, so stupid. They know what Malik Willis is going to do before Malik Willis even starts, you know, starting the process of running away. And we will run the ball with Malik Willis and just go down. Don't fumble the football, please. Call the last time out. Play action. We'll roll out right. Wiley has a very nice, you know, throw and catch. Or not throw and catch. Very good block. I don't know what I'm talking about, but Malik Willis, we're trying so hard to do what uh <laughs> what we need to do here halftime report we'll start with detroit against the seahawks and wow coming to a full end of a half geno smith has zero pass completions but uh lions you know 10 <laughs> 10 to zero only somehow should be a lot worse than that but in new england buffalo bills beating up on them so far 14 to zero josh allen on just five completions as 126 yards and a touchdown to trey tucker that's an interesting thing uh in minnesota in, in minnesota 
it, it, it must sound up. Jesus, man, I'm off the rails. It's a tied game. Headed into that halftime area. Darnell Money, reception, 21 yards and a touchdown. Probably the player to highlight over there. And in our game, we have absolutely ruled this bitch. Now, we can't let anything start to go wrong here because obviously we have been the superior in this matchup and we'll have oh my god jalen petrie this is what i'm talking about 90 something speed i think it's 94 excel in like 90 speed shooting a gap is absolutely disgusting in this you can do whatever you want at will and joseph klein will basically do the same thing just trying to get out the quarterback this one in the air shaq griffin's good for nothing dumbass can't do anything about it and this one to the running back don't know why i went all vocal on you but that one's good for a yard. Mir White re-enters the game and will try to get out to stop him. And Jeffrey Simmons does a good enough job all by himself to stop him. Third and ten. We're actually playing man coverage over here. What is that animation that keeps happening to me? I press triangle to try to make a play on the ball. I lunge. But instead, it shoots me so far left. I promise you, I'm like, it's not... 100% my fault. I'm trying to get leverage. And of course, it's on Shaq Griffin. But don't shoot me to the left. Like, directly to the left. That animation is so, so, so stupid. Let me know if that happens to you guys. Because I, I... Or how to fix it. Or something. Because... Honestly, not happy with it, if you couldn't tell. Second and nine, and they'll try to get something going over there. Maybe a little P.I. going on over there from Jalen Petrie, but nothing goes for the Las Vegas Raiders. We will act like we're bringing pressure here. We'll call out of it. Just try to keep someone over top of Devontae Adams. That's really what it comes down to, right? And it's Shaq Griffin getting blown by. Shaq Griffin's getting benched. He played so well to start off by sung his praises, and now he's done playing for us for the rest of the day. Christian Fulton's moving up into that spot. Traylon Burks back in the game. Hopefully he can make a difference in the second half and go for 100 plus yards, but it'll be KJ Hamler on the quick little dump down immediately uh, to start this one off, and we'll go just uh, play action spot here. And uh, I mean, we're rolling the wrong way, it says, but whatever. We'll just try to roll out here with Malik Willis. Get the yards needed and get out of bounds. A little bit more play action, and we'll just go trailing Burks underneath. Schemed him up into that one. And we'll go play action. Or not play action. We'll go hurry up, and then we'll try to get Jalen Reynolds here in the run game. Of course, I have to wait till the defense is fully set. And, oh my God, Jalen Reynolds working up the field doing what, I, I don't know, doing what he does, I guess. And we'll roll out get uh, Antonio Gibson up the field doesn't matter we'll have to throw this one away Terrence Robinson the uh, rookie center is down and that yeah that man is 314 pounds apparently but I don't see that he is off the field who will come in in um, his place I believe it is that uh, that one guy I can't remember his name but I don't know he's done good um, try to get Jalen Reynolds can he make something happen magic perhaps nothing really goes just gets a yard, I believe. Devin Wilder will come in at backup center and play for us here. Don't really have much going on. Jalen Reynolds almost makes a great play in traffic. I was scared of that one being picked off. Uh, nothing really going on the end of that drive, and that kind of leads me to believe some poor things about this team. But we can't punt this one too far. We're trying to make a good punt dot here with Stonehouse. This one's up, and this one will be nice if it doesn't bounce the wrong way. And just over the one, punt dot century. I meant punt dot central and maybe punt dot of the century. We have a safety. Ladies and gentlemen, this is why you bring in guys like Jonathan Allen. If not, Jeffrey Simmons would have been there anyways. But Jonathan Allen, are you joking me? That is amazing. What a freaking... Uh, what, what a freaking play. All right, just overall, what a play. Manuel Judge will be on the receiving end of this weird punt here. We'll just go down. I'm not interested in fumbling the football after such a good play. And we'll just try to get out of the pocket, outrun our opponents, and we do. Malik Willis up the field, doing a good job staying in bounds, getting even more yards. Eight rushes, 67, and a touchdown. He's been so effective on the ground, and that is what has led me to believe we can make him the guy, especially with the star development upgrade that he'd be getting after this game if we you know, remain flawless and don't make too many more mistakes. Keep uh keep the passing game alive. Just uh, keep doing what we've been doing. It's truly been KJ Hamler, but Carlos Diaz here. Um, I don't think to just spam X after you know engaging in contact because I'm not a next gen player. It's my first year on it because I'm on PC. So I don't know. 
Diaz here is very, like, alarmingly uncovered as long as someone doesn't drop back, and they do in the right area. But Malik Willis on the ground. Course gets the yardage. He's so good. He's been so good today. Barks won't really have the yardage or anything. Can we get this one there? Oh, my God. If that was an interception, I would have thrown my computer out the goddamn window. Second and ten. We'll move to the ground game with Reynolds. And uh, just trying to take a little step pause right there. I don't know what's going on there, but <laughs> we get good yardage first down for us. We'll try to throw the ball into the end zone here. KJ Hamler, like I said, if we had like an out route or like an outside something, it works so much better. We're trying to escape with Malik Willis. Go in for your second. But that's your third touchdown, right? So we can bench him for the rest of the game right like we can bench him and he'd get that challenge because that's his third hang on i had to check this real quick stats player stats i'm pretty sure you have to get three scrimmage touchdowns so 184 yards on the uh through the air and an interception you could only get one interception anything any more than you suck but one passing touchdown rushing two rushing touchdowns for malik willis he's up to 260 yards i'm not gonna risk it um we'll put will levison now that we have malik willison or will levison we could be as reckless as we want and that is being reckless kj hammer drops it oh well um <laughs> zero of zero because it's an unofficial thing right there why did we go for two again i'm not 100 sure but we just lined up to go for two we're winning this one seven to 22 and hopefully will levis can keep this uh this team in check obviously we don't really have the legs that we did on malik willis with will levis but he'll still come in and be a good passer if i had to guess defensive game plan remains the same go after the guy get in the ball and uh just stomp their run game i think we are the number one um team against oh joseph klein oh my god i think we're the number one team against the run and we're about to make the raiders our b word joseph klein into the end zone high stepping and oh my god we have something going here today i'd like to keep going for the rest of this series we are absolutely dominating defensively and offensively despite that one drive coming out of halftime for the raiders make a good play there with joseph klein and his amazing speed to make up for a little slack uh that he gave the fullback and man coverage but regardless great play great game so far played here today by us and uh, we'll look to continue that. This one outside, Hunter Renfro. Levante David will have a nice tackle here. Crowd has gone silent. And wide open is Hunter Renfro. Amani Hooker, I'd like you to catch the man. Please do something. How is he so open on that play? Does he have, like, one of the best releases in all of football? Because I'll never press cover or cover him again if that's the case. Oh, I'm scared of that one-on-one -on -one coverage up over top. I believe that's Christian Fulton. But it doesn't matter when they run the football. Well, it does when they score a touchdown. That was the easiest drive I've ever seen. So, um, yeah, we got to watch out. The CPU might look to just, just absolutely destroy us. They were unsuccessful on their two-point attempt. And we got space with a little bit of space with Emmanuel Judge trying to make something happen. Nothing really goes. And we can just lob it up to freaking Traylon Burks here. I don't want to get too careless here. But towards the end of the game, that's what we could literally just start doing. And, okay, yep sacked on his first play in good job malik or not malik that's will we had some nice seam beaters with uh Traylon burks last week but instead this time we'll just go for clyde claxon that's his i believe second uh catch here today so we'll just try to to make something happen i don't really know what to go for here what to to call or what to play i do now this one clyde claxton up the field claxton's gonna be good I'm telling you right now, just from what I've seen, the, the guy's going to be good. Play action now. We'll just go out to the running back who we initially faked the run to. Lower the shoulder. Get seven yards. Second and third. We'll just work with Reynolds here. Get good yardage. Go up. He's over 100 today on just 18 carries. He's been he's been finding his footing again after having a couple of uh, strugglesome weeks, if you will. He's had... Um, a few run-ins with you know injuries and whatnot that have uh, kind of kept him out of you know recent games as much as i'd like to keep him in and will levis comes in starts four 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 45 yards and we'll just go carlos diaz here and uh just get good yardage get for sure yardage and we'll go levels out here and look for perhaps kj hamler can beat someone up the seam here doesn't and no one really doing their best getting open impression. We have a nice little screen over there that we didn't even need to use. But um, I tried to throw it. I'm not going to lie. I tried to throw it. But Jalen Reynolds instead gets a good gain on the ground. It's been very good today. And he will continue to be very good. He'll go up over top. They'll have him down on the one. 
Interesting spotting there, as I thought that he might have gotten that one. We'll try to call the snap as quick as we can. Get up, and Reynolds into the end zone. Touchdown, Jalen Reynolds. He'll extend the lead. We'll bring out our backups, man. We're, we're, we're killing them that bad. We have an uh-oh alert. We have Devontae Adams manned up and press coverage against Devontae Adams. Or did I say Devontae Adams? Ma mashed up against Devontae Adams. Get Shaq Griffin out there. Not a fan of that. So we'll try to do our best to just kind of take advantage of different different looks here. And that is what I was talking about. That's Jacoby Myers this time around. Shaq Griffin has been atrocious today, to say the least. Using Roger McCreary on a little blitz here, and they'll have to get it out quick. Because number 21 will catch that one, the backup running back. Second and four will look to shoot a gap with either Levante, David, or Jalen Petrie. Garoppolo just had a scream up the inside. That was not even covered. We're bringing it all out here. I'm not even going to worry about the running back. I'm going in with Petrie. Good coverage on the play by Christian Fulton. And it'll be fourth and four. They'll have to go for this one. Curious what the play call is going to be here for them. Not too worried about, you know, letting up anything huge. But if it is something like underneath or something kind of bizarre, good play. We'll have the ball back. Oh, my God. What a play on defense and what a misread on offense and a misfire. I know I said I'd bring out the backups, but we never really did. And I don't think I'm going to. It doesn't really make sense. And, I mean, we're not going to go to the stretch of the field two times with Traylon Burks. So there's really no point. Can we get this one up? Just see what, uh, what's going on over there. Test the waters with Will Levis. Braylon Burks. This one will be not thrown accurately, nor will the receiver pick up that the ball was even thrown or put in the air in the first place. We'll pump this one off and away, and we'll have another defensive drive. First and 10. We'll actually play a little bit more of conservative coverage. We won't really bring any insane blitzes or anything. Fulton out there in good coverage. No, that's, that's McCreary. He always has good coverage. Here we come. Third and seven. We're bringing the blitz. They've got someone off the edge. Great throw in catch from Garoppolo to Renfro. That stings a little bit. We had a huge blitz coming off on a big play and just a very good anticipation. Um, you know, throw and catch by, like I mentioned, Hunter Renfro and Jimmy Garoppolo Goat. But Levante David here, we're not exactly in man coverage against, uh, you know, Devontae Adams, but pretty much on the left side of the field. We'll have to look out here as we're going for the blitz. And Michael Mayer just straight up beats someone else in a foot race. What was that, Kevin Byard or someone? We'll be right back here in his own coverage instead of bringing any sort of blitz. And we'll just try to find some people underneath and just try to make a good play or two happen on defense. Maybe force a turnover, stat pad a little bit, get some extra tackles in there. I'm going to use your Levante David this time around. Jalen Petrie is more than capable in zone coverage by himself as we will um, get powered through by the running back with Levante David. I'm going to use Jalen Petrie now because, I mean, he's just more fun to, or fun to use, I guess. And this one outside to the running back no one really got that memo that someone could still be out there uh someone abandons that zone bringing blitz here on a likely pass play and it's gonna be a fumble can joseph klein recover it this is what i'm talking about oh my god we are so good antonio gibson breaks free now oh my god two rushes 21 yards for him and after a successful run play you know what they say always a successful play action play joking i don't think anyone in the history of anything says anything like that we go josh wiley up the field put his shoulder down and power through i believe that's jacory and bennett so the offense and defense finally combine and do so well on the same night normally we've had a problem where you know the the defense is so good one night and the offense just can't come through or vice versa but it's been mostly our defense that has been so sound this year and uh just th today we put it all together and it's amazing one with jay win winnells <laughs> I don't know why it came out of my mouth like that. I just started with one, and then I just went with the baby voice for some stupid reason. But do get a first down on third and seven on some, you know, run that was probably not even close to anticipated. But we will just use her uh, Tajay Spears, who will get up the inside, glitching all the way around, all these animations. We have ran the ball at will today. Um, you know, obviously, Gibson's done good when he's on the field. And now we're getting, um, you know, Tajay Spears out there. Been pretty much a non-factor in this one and a non-factor so far this season. And uh, he'll get tackled behind the loss pretty viciously. But we'll get tackled behind the line, not, not tackled behind the loss. I don't know what I'm on about. But stack right back up and go power run here. Just try to uh, put this one in. This will be the last play of the game anyways. And we'll just go to the pancake block on the left side. Tajay 
um, does a good job fighting that area, but couldn't really execute and find the end zone. Like I said, that one will be the end of the game. No extra stat pad needed. A huge game for us. Malik Willis, 19 of 31, 184, a touchdown, and that interception, obviously. And then Malik Willis, or Will Levis, came in and did uh, wonders for us. 6 of 10, 92 yards. No touchdowns, no interceptions. Probably could have had one of each if we tried hard enough. Uh, Jalen Reynolds here just ran through the, the defense along with uh, Malik Willis, but Jalen Reynolds 24 attempts 137 yards and a touchdown it was so good today three broken tackles 20 plus yard runs zero he had a longest of a 17 one but malik willis was also great um tajay spears was fine antonio gibson on his two carries was spectacular receiving the ball this is where things get a little interesting because we spread the ball we spread the love today uh, jalen reynolds this is actually not the numbers i was expecting here jalen reynolds eight catches 43 that leads the team but yardage wise kj hamler leads with just three catches then clyde claxton three for 50 he was also really good today wiley two catches 45 was good and then we already went over reynolds Traylon burks four for 41 started off good and kind of just lost it when he got injured carlos diaz four for 34 kyle phillips one for eight yards so good there by the offense tackles byard and levante david were flying all over the field today tfls three for levante david two for simmons one for allen one for klein one for petrie one for rashawn montag along with a sack half a sack or one and a half sacks for levante david one for montag half a sack for joseph klein interceptions one for klein he was super good today and um even that one total tackle, just a TFL, half a sack and interception says everything you need. A few upgrades here. Antonio Gibson, Jalen Petrie, and Nicholas petit Frere. We'll start with Nicholas petit Frere, who's been all right to, uh, this year. Nothing like crazy to stand out about him. His run block power, pass block, run block. So just in general, he could just be better in pretty much all aspects. We'll just upgrade power for him here. Should do uh, a pretty good job at, you know, capitalizing on what he's meh at. You know, pass block, plus one run block, plus three awareness. That was a good job. Good upgrade for him. Antonio Gibson now, the running back, the backup running back. As Tyze Spears has really just become that third stringer that kind of gets used every here and there. Um, for Antonio Gibson, what he's what his like specialist role is on the team, honestly, is power back. Like that's kind of what I kind of envision him as. So we'll just upgrade power back, I think. Um, just the smartest upgrade. Maybe break tackle goes up, stiff arm strength, cool, all that good stuff. Jalen Petrie, strong safety that we brought in to be our long-term guy. Been very good. He needs to be better at just about everything, actually. His tackling's not the greatest. Run support can go up and will. And we'll try to hope, hopefully tackle goes up because that's, yeah, plus three tackle. That's at 63 now. All right, yeah, 63 tackling. He's not he's not the best. Phelan Burke says I was ready to go headlining or heading into this week, but things just didn't go my way once the game started. I need to be better than that. Absolutely. You just need to not get injured. Malik Willis and his breakout coach. Another big performance by Malik Willis. You have to be excited about the direction he seems to be heading or headed. I thought I was going to say heading in. Absolutely. He's proving each week that he can put more weight on his shoulders and proving that we can count on him to be great for us week in and week out. I agree. He's been good. Star development Malik Willis. We'll advance to the next week. Look at the team. Look around. See the guys. See what we got. See what uh, the team's looking like. We're heading into the bye week. Discuss our plan for it. That'll come next episode. Uh, just line up here. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? We got a star development quarterback now. Traylon Burks, he could have been superstar, which would have been sick. KJ Hamler's just proven to be a force. Uh, he's been so good when he's playing, in my opinion, probably better than um, you know anybody else we've seen on this team other than D-Hop. Uh, Chica Conquo is back. That's good for him. Carlos Diaz will still get some work. Absolutely. He's been too good not to. Defensively, though, here we are. Pretty good team all around us. Uh, Christian Fulton's going to move into that number two spot, which would basically be that number one spot because McCreary plays the slot anyways. So there's that, but I don't know. We got we got a lot of stuff and uh, a lot of stuff to look forward to headed into this next offseason and the rest of the season and just overall for the series and franchise. We just got a lot to look forward to. We are currently three and six now on the season. Stats would have Malik Willis, 1,400 yards, 13 touchdowns, 13 interceptions, rushing Jalen Reynolds up at that 886 mark. He's closing up on 1,000 pretty early here, probably in the lead for Offensive Rookie of the Year. KJ Hamler, though, he leads the team. He'll probably be closer to 900 yards by the end of the season, but if he keeps going how he does and if he has that explosive game every here and there, he might just reach 1,000. 
Defensively, uh, Levante David here, but TFLs also leads the team there. Joseph Klein with 11 and three and a half sacks. 11 for Rashawn Montag. Leads the defensive line in sacks with four and a half. Harold Landry next up. Joseph Klein, Willie Gay. Allen's been great since he got here. Jeffrey Simmons has kind of been lackluster this season. Uh, interception, Shaq Griffin. Yeah, sure, he might have four, but he's not our greatest corner. All right, let's be honest. He got absolutely burned the second half today. Uh, Willie Gay, when he was playing, was really good. Roger McCreary and uh oh yeah we might actually have willie gay back to like this next uh this next week so roger mccurry two just declined with one fulton with one everyone has one. Oh my god so yeah that'll be all for me thank you guys for watching if you guys enjoyed go ahead and go down hit the like button go down subscribe go back to any of the past content on the channel hopefully you guys will like that i guarantee you will and that'll be all for me thank you guys for watching Deuces.